Hey there everyone, how's it going? Tarun here. In the previous episode, we saw as to how we can spin the dev mode server of Vault. And in this video, we will look at how we can start it in the production mode, right? So when we speak about production mode, we of course have uh, the TLS certificates, we have a storage backend, right? And we also start the server in a different way and we have to unseal it, set the policies and all, right? So let's get into it. So again, the steps for these can be found in my uh, software engineering blog, which is tarunshiv.com slash vault hyphen setup. Now let's, let's uh, start with generating the search. Okay. So let's go to our Ubuntu machine that we have and let's create the folders. We have created opt vault TLS and uh, opt vault data. Now let's go into the opt vault TLS folder. And we will generate the certificate. I'll paste it here. So this is the command open SSL request out TLS cert new key out TLS key new key. RSA 4096, we're going to use 4096 bit key, no DES, SHA-256, X509 and subject organization, HashiCorp, common name vault. Uh, here in this case, I've also added a subject alternative name. So here the uh, DNS would be win hyphen Tarunshiv. dot local dot windows and the IP I'll place it at 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 right now we can go ahead and create this uh, cert and key also the validity is for uh, 10 years Okay, we have created the cert and key. Uh, let's view the cert and key. Uh, let's view the cert actually. X509 hyphen in TLS dot cert. No out text. Okay, HashiCorp vault. Is the subject alternative name present? Yeah, subject alternative name is present with the DNS. Let's copy this uh, DNS. Control, control shift C colon. Okay. Now what we can do is uh, open the DNS record, right? Hit C hosts and we will add it here. So this would be 127.0.0.1. One or uh, actually it can go to no it, it can it can go to that URL yeah one all right save it and exit ping win local dot windows and yes the ping goes through. All right, we have set up the search and the uh, DNS record. Now what's next? We have to set up the server and then the, uh, I mean, we'll have to install the server and also configure it. So installation step steps are same as uh, how we install the dev server. So you run the three commands where you add the repository, you update your local repository and you install vault. And after that, you'll have to configure the vault. So let's open that file. And within the configuration file, we will paste in the options. So UI is true. We have enabled UI again in production. It's um, it is uh, actually recommended to disable the UI just for uh, an extra layer of security and storage here we are using file storage and we have given the path 
the address will be it's listening on 0 .0 and port 8200 and tls cert file is opt vault tls tls dot cert and tls key file is opt vault tls tls dot key which we generated just now okay that's the issue i'll copy this vault okay it was etsy vault dot d all right i'll make that correction vault dot hcl here i'll paste it in and we'll remove these comments okay so yeah the ua is will be true the storage path and the https listener we'll save and exit okay we have configured it now we'll have to um yeah we'll have to change the ownership of the tls search otherwise i've seen um, people face problems because of that so that's fine now we are all set to start the vault server let's copy this and service vault start okay let's check the status vault is active and running all right um it is also listening on port 8200 Okay, and its stat is not present. Okay, now the next stat works, and we see that Vault is actually running on port 8200. So, what's next? Now that we have uh, done it, we can also test uh, Vault and we can go ahead with um, looking into whether it, whether it has been sealed or unsealed or whatever it is. Let's export our Vault address. And the host name will be win local dot windows. Okay. And also the vault CA cert path. Especially when you run these uh, vault commands, okay, they will need access to this CA cert in order to communicate with the vault server. So that we are exporting. The path is correct. Now we can go ahead and check vault status so you see the seal type is again shamir initialized is false this time sealed is true this time and total shares is zero threshold is zero unsealed progress is zero out of zero because we haven't started initializing the uh, server now let's go ahead and initialize the vault server you can again do it via uh, the uh, gui by going to port 8200 of that particular uh, vault server's uh, ip address or host name so we'll run the command vault operator in it. So here, when we run vault operator in it, what happens is vault runs everything with its default uh, set of options. And you see that it has given us five unsealed keys and one initial root token. So we can copy this. And if you remember, uh, as I told you in the previous uh, session, we need at least three of these keys to unseal it right we will come to that but first we need to store these keys vault in it we'll paste these carefully we'll save and exit right and we'll cat vault dot in it now let's see what we need to do uh, we can actually check vault status again yes so we see that total shares is five this time threshold is three unseal progress is zero out of three initialize is true but okay so let's now seal i mean sorry let's unseal the uh, vault server and the command for that is vault operator unseal uh, in this case i have given the ca cert option but let's try without that because we have exported the ca cert uh, variable if you remember uh, vault ca cert right we have exported this so we can try without that vault operator unseal and we will need the uh, unsealed keys so let me copy uh, okay let me copy one of the keys 
again it can be in any order and any any key right uh, to unseal the server it need not be 1 2 3 or 1 3 5 or 5 4 3 something like that it can be any any three keys but three unique keys okay vault operator unseal okay it's asking for the unseal key i'll paste it and hit enter now the unseal progress is 1 out of 3 now again i'll pay, copy this 5 i had copied already so i'll take 4 any random one again so vault operator unseal paste it so 2 out of 3 is the uh, unseal progress now just for a change instead of 3 i'll just take 2 vault operator unseal now the uh, vault server has been successfully unsealed because you see the seal is false here storage type is file and she uh, seal type is uh, shamir everything looks good now the uh, we are also ready to log in into the server so again uh, we can make use of the initial root token let me copy that vault login paste the token we are in the vault server has been unsealed we are, we have also been able to log in into the vault server this is the production mode and uh, it is far more secure and persistent and reliable than the uh, dev server and in most of the cases this itself is fine for you to run for in in risk in less risk environment but there are a lot more uh, um, tips that vault people give us in order to harden the production server and i'll come back to that in the future session where we discuss about production hardening for vault okay there we will see as to how we can secure the vault servers so that is all for this episode i hope you all understood and i hope it was really helpful see you guys in the next episode thank you for hanging on hanging around for such a long time thank you see you around